First things first, we've got to set up the camera and it all starts with this tripod here. So let's talk about the best practices when setting up a tripod in the field and property insurance. Wadley, what do you have in mind for some of our best practices? Well, it seems ticky tacky. Why would we be so concerned about how you set up a tripod? But we're really trying to establish consistency. And so if we're capturing this stuff in a very consistent manner, the digital assets are just gonna be more valuable to you as a contractor or a staff adjuster. And so in that vein, when you guys are setting this Manfrotto 190X, which is broadly regarded as the gold standard for tripods when using a Matterport Pro Series camera, uh, just drop the larger of the two legs, okay? That does a couple things for you. These legs, because of the weight, the larger leg, uh, it allows it to go up and down easier with gravity, just as you saw there. Uh, in addition to that, you know, it's just not as fragile as the thinner leg down here that we so rarely use. If you were to set up this tripod, one set of legs, the upper set the entire time, and you set this camera down, you'll end up at about four feet high. Now, if you've seen Matterport at a conference or you've seen it in real estate, you'll see that often these tripods have both sets of legs extended, and as a result, the camera ends up at six feet. Now, in real estate, you want a six foot high scan because you want a potential homeowner to see what the property would look like at eye level. But in property insurance, most of the action when you have fires and floods is actually on the floor, in the baseboards. That's where everything's dropping down to. So we actually would recommend only setting up the one set of legs because you'll end up at about four feet. Four feet is the preferred height for scanning and property insurance because you're gonna be able to capture what contractors and insurance carriers need to settle the claim. And one note about this Manfrotto, we've experimented with the carbon fiber version and the aluminum, but the Manfrotto 190X aluminum seems to do a great job and it's about half the price of the carbon uh, fiber one. So I'd just go with the aluminum one if I had the choice.